I'm going to show you a quick demo of uh, connection to my um, to my lab. I have uh, two SXI hosts. Each of them has about 18 gigs of RAM. I'm using some shared storage and some um, local storage. So as you can see, it's completely new Vsphere, Vsphere client interface. And uh, I have already installed the vSphere application and vSphere data protection, the new backup product. So if you go to vSphere application, I only have one site. And uh, I have already configured two VMs. find out my my way so you see there is two VMs configured one of them is still replicating we can add another site you can see I have uh, one VM which I'm replicating from one data store to another. We can see if we can change the configuration. Reconfigure. So I'm replicating from one data store. It's a target. This one is a target. And we can see the RPO can be changed through the UI. It can go up to 10 for 15 minutes. And the question method for this VM is not enabled. my controller is still replicating okay next I'm going to show you the data protection data protection is a new product based on the EMC's Avamar code Let's see if we can configure some back backups. So, for example, this guy daily. You can see the retention policy can be changed. Else. Name for this job and here we go. In some of my future videos I'm gonna show you how to deploy VSV data protection. I have already outlined some gotchas my article so it's good good thing to read the, the manual actually you can find out how to configure it in the manual okay so you can see it's quite fast I have everything on the same VM, vCenter, single sign-on, 
the web client and the local SQL database Level. You can see the details about my hosts. Okay. Thanks very much for watching.